Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. This particular Avery is a 1919-20 horse. They're called undermounts. The ballers up on top, the running gears down below. Uh, for the prairie tractors, they were built in Peoria, Illinois. And uh, the feature of that was you have it on a frame and you're not pulling anything on your baller. Uh, for instance, the, the kitten is not a good plow tractor or any uh, tractor to be used out in the field because your hitch is all riveted to your baller. Where here your baller is self-contained and you're not putting any stress on. That's my belief. Well, it has two cylinders on it. Uh, you're never on dead center. You can start it any place. Uh, a single cylinder, like a 90, 95% of most steam engines are single cylinder. Not many went to a twin cylinder because they added expense. So we have a twin cylinder on this one, uh, and I really like running them. We have a uh, third scale Reeves steam engine with a stainless steamer engine on it. It's really neat because it's a twin cylinder. Uh, I think that's the only twin cylinder steam engines we have. And uh, they're just nicer to run, they're smoother. We bought it from Rolake, Minnesota. They didn't want to see it leave the ground up there. I think a doctor had owned it for 32 or 35 years, something like that. A doctor had owned it and he never run it. He just had other guys run it for him. I remember when this uh, semi come and delivered it to our place, the first thing I said, there's, there's something default on this machine. And the truck driver wanted to know what happened. I said, there's way too much paint on that flywheel. I said, that's got to go. So it had real nice shiny paint in the flywheel. So we got rid of that pretty quick. Uh, belted it up and away it went. Wore it off. Wore it off. Uh, we did do a lot of extra on this here. We yeah. wanted to make it a little bit like a train. Uh, so Dad had a, lo uh, a locomotive train light. And uh, we put this catwalk on. That is a train whistle that comes off of a engine in Belgium. It is an official train whistle, whistle up there at the bell. Uh, it's got a pile generator. And when we uh, start our generator up, we have running lights underneath. We have uh, two lights in the front and we have cab lights on the back. Well, we're gonna run this 1840s uh, sawmill here, which is really unique. It's called a slash saw. Uh, a guy by the name of Ralph Buck had owned that. Uh, it's a slow saw, but yet it was better than a crosscut saw a hundred some years ago. So that we'll just run this. It's a piece of cake for this machine, but yet we want to run something old. We do take it to Centennials, our club. Uh, we belong to a club called the Early Days Antique Club. Uh, it's based out of Ferdinand and St. Mondrick, and there's about uh, 180 members and we really follow the centennials. In our German area, we have a lot of centennials that come around and every, hundred, every 25 years we celebrate them. So it's taken to a lot of centennials uh, and someone trucks it there. Uh, we come here about every year, every other year or so. Um, basically, where somebody will haul us, we'll probably go.